Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi my name is Danielle Louise and we do everything from beauty, fashion, lifestyle and a little bit of motherhood over here on my channel. So as you would have guessed by the title of this video, I am going to be doing my morning skincare routine with you today. Um, it's something that I've really tried to get into, I'd say, over the last year or two. I'm really trying to start looking after my skin, especially as I'm getting older. Um, and I feel like I've seen such a difference in my skin. I still get the odd breakout. Um, you know, my skin's not perfect. I don't think many people's is. But yeah, I feel like it's such an important step um, to your daily routine. And I just thought that I would share mine with you. So let's get in on with it. So to start off with, I'm just going to clip my hair up out of the way. I also have this like hairband and um, I'm not sure where I got this from actually. It's just so the product doesn't get in your hair. So makes you look a bit crazy, but there you go. So the first product that I'm going to be using is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Now if you haven't got this, you really do need it. It is honestly such a good product and I don't think I'll ever do without this. Um, it just gets every little bit of makeup off. It's so hydrating for your skin and I honestly just love it. I couldn't recommend this enough. So I'm going to take a finger sized amount, about that much, and I'm just going to Rub it all over my skin. As you can tell, I've obviously got no makeup on because it is the morning. Um, so I just use this just to clear out my pores from any bits of makeup that I might have missed last night. Any oil. Bringing it all the way down the neck as well. And in the morning especially, I like to just massage this right in. I also love this a lot because it's like safe around your eyes. It's really gentle. I just love this. This product is just so nice. And you can also get it off Amazon, which is really handy. Sorry if you can hear any noise in the background. Um, the um, window is just behind you, so you might be able to hear some road traffic. And also, Arlo is now on his um, summer holidays, so he is also here. And he is loving the weather lately. He's been in his pool every day of the week so far. I'm then going to take a washcloth. These are just from Primark, really cheap. Um, I think you get like a pack of three for like a couple of pounds or something. I'm just going to run it under some warm water. I'm just going to remove it. Careful to be gentle with the skin, not pull it too much. As I'm getting older, I'm really conscious of trying to look after my skin as much as I can, only because I don't want to create unnecessary wrinkles and damage to my skin. So I'm just trying to really take care of it. In the evening, I do double cleanse. In the morning, just one is enough. Okay, then I'm just going to pat my face dry with a clean towel. Next up is the Ren Skincare um, Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. After using this, I've seen such a difference in my skin. It brightens, it really helps with any blemishes that I have. Um, honestly, again, I would really recommend this product. I absolutely love it. So... I don't know if I said in one of my other videos actually when I bought this and um, the one that I had before had like a pumpy top and um, this one doesn't. I prefer the pump top but products the same so it's absolutely fine. I just take the cotton pad and saturate it and the product like that and then just gently wipe it all over my skin, not too close to the eyes. But as you can see, I've got a spot coming here, um, so this will really help. Swipe it 
all over the face. Especially I like to get right in the, you know, like the creases of my nose where sometimes I can get like a build up of like oil and it causes blackheads. Also on my chin, I also am prone to getting, I don't really know what they're called, but they're like little white spots underneath the skin that don't really amount to anything. Um, but obviously when the light catches them, I can see them. So I just make sure I apply this to that area as well. And also underneath my jawline. These are all places that I tend to get spots. So I just try to make sure they're extra clean. Next step is eye cream. So the eye cream that I've been using lately is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. This is honestly amazing. I know it is quite a high price point. I think it's like £45 but it does last a long time and I do feel like it's worth it. I also love their day cream and the night cream. Um, I don't have any of that at the moment but I would love to repurchase because it honestly is really really nice and really luxurious. feels so lovely on your skin. Um, and as you can see I'm nearly at the end of this so I um, definitely love this and would like to repurchase so just apply a little bit underneath the eye and again just don't pull just pat I also like to bring it right into the centre because I do get a lot of darkness So the one that I have been using, which I've actually run out of, is the Elizabeth Arden Visible Difference. And this one, honestly, like, as you can see, I have literally used it all. And I got this on Amazon because I ran out of my Charlotte Tilbury. I just needed one to arrive really quick, so I went on Amazon and just had a look. And this one had really good reviews, so I just got it. Um, literally, I'm scraping the barrel, so I probably will have to mix in another moisturiser because I literally have none left of this. That's literally it. So I'm also going to um, mix in a little bit of my Walida Skin Food Moisturiser. This is really good as well, especially because it's so hot at the moment. Um, it gives my skin a lot of moisture, stops it from drying out. I also caught the sun quite bad by here the other day and I popped this on um, to try and prevent any peeling or you know my skin drying out too much so i'm just going to apply a little bit of this as well but definitely would recommend the elizabeth arden um cream if you're looking for a moisturizer um also it was quite a low price point i think so definitely cheaper than the charlotte tilbury by it a long stretch so would recommend if you're looking for one also going to apply a little bit of the Walida Skin Food on my neck. Always trying to be gentle, not, not pulling on the skin too much. Also like to rub this into my hands. It's really nice and moisturising. Next up is lips and I'm going to apply the Laneige. I'm hoping I'm saying that right, the Laneige lip sleeping mask and this is the berry one i also have the apple one this is such a lovely moisturizing lip balm next up is a product that i absolutely love and um, i haven't used this for a while actually and i've just seen it and i thought you know what i'm gonna get this on my face today because i know i love it and it's the elizabeth arden um, City Smart and um, this is brilliant it is a SPF it's just amazing and protects your skin which is what we want so I'm just going to apply this onto the face if I wasn't using this I would apply a sunscreen which I will show you which one I'm using in just a second So 
So like I was saying, if I wasn't using the Elizabeth Arden City Smart, I would be applying um, another SPF. So one that I really do like is the La Roche-Posay. Um, I don't really know what this is called because for some reason it's all in a different language. But um, this is the La Roche-Posay um, 50 Plus Sunscreen. Just this one. I got this off Amazon as well and it's great. I use this in Santorini every day and I mist here above my eyebrows and honestly in Santorini um, my whole face was fine, no burn at, at all and just above my eyebrows where I'd not applied this I really burn. So I just think that's proof of how good this is. Um, so yeah if you need a sunscreen for your face that doesn't break you out and it's really really nice I would recommend this one. Also from Elizabeth Arden um, I found this 8 hour cream targeted sun defence stick. This is amazing if you're someone who burns a lot on your nose or you can use this on your lips, ears, anywhere and to be honest I also put this on all if we go away. He burns quite bad on his ears and on his nose so I always put this on him um, just as an added extra um, and it always helps to make sure he doesn't burn so that's great and um, it's just like a stick like that and you just like rub it onto where you need it so also would recommend that that's brilliant and um, the last step in my routine is the rapid brow eyebrow enhancing serum this is honestly amazing i've been using this now for just over a week it tells you to use it for eight weeks to see results and i just think i've already seen results my eyebrows are growing in so much by here um, and also in the middle so honestly i would recommend this so far i am going to do a full review after the eight weeks on the brow serum and the eyebrow on the brow serum and on the eyelash serum so stay tuned for that um, but yeah, at the moment, I have nothing bad to say. It honestly, I feel, is doing its job. So I also apply this. The brow serum you apply morning and night. Um, the lash serum is just an evening application. So just the eyebrow one. And I always put it on last because it says you shouldn't mix it with any other product. So there we go. And then also, not for the face, but I just thought I'd include this in this video. I have been using the Jessica Phenomenon. Why can't I say that? I know how to say that word and for some reason it's just not coming out. Um, basically, the cuticle oil. Um, I've been trying to grow my nails and because I'm someone who really does buy their nails and I'm really, really ashamed of it. So I'm really trying to grow my nails and I just feel like, I don't know if you can see, it's really helping like then obviously they're not perfect but for someone who has zero nails I'm doing well so my battery is actually just about to go so I'm just going to quickly apply this and um, just apply it onto the nails on both hands and just rub it in also rub this into the hands as well because it's a really nice moisturizer and keeps all your skin nice and moisturized and good so that is my finished morning skincare routine. I really hope that you enjoyed doing my morning skincare with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe if you're still here. I would love to see you on my next video. And um, Thank you so much for your support so far. I love you all so much and um, I hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.